Cool bersama Visa O. What's up, what's up, what's up? Selamat kembali ke Scoop bersama Fiza O. Oh, I suka lah sejauh ni scoop-scoop yang I dapat. Best tau. Dia macam ada antara pembejaan kita yang agak uh, sensitif, ada yang tak pernah I dengar. Malam ni adalah saya rasa pembejaan yang dianggap, mungkin ada yang anggap klise tapi agak sensitif. I don't know. Dia tentang bakat yang ada di TV. Ada orang kata, Allah, ambil dia tu pun pasal dia lawa je, bukan bakat je pun. I don't know, I tak tahu. Jadi apa kata kalau kita tanyakan pada dua artis ni yang memang lawa, mereka ni dianggap sebagai pan-Asian. Ah, oh, siapa tu? Siapakah dua selebriti ini? Jom, kita scoop. Okey, baiklah saya nak undang dua selebriti kita lawa ini. Kita nak undang sekali Salif Hardy dan Sofia Denbro. Oh, okey. David, yes, coming through. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Hi. Orang kata ni, orang kalau dah lawa, dia buat gitu cucuk langit je dah nampak macam vok. Terus like, yes, yes, yes. Adakah ini perkara biasa you all terima macam like macam dah tahu you all lawa? Okeylah, boleh tahan lah. I mean, I mean, selalu kalau orang cakap, cakap. Ya, terima kasih. Dari kecil lagi dah terima punya macam gini? I think masa I kat secondary school. Ha. And I buka my braces semua. And then I got my the first male attention macam tu. Oh. And I'm like, oh, actually, oh, someone likes me? <laughs> oh, me? <laughs> yeah. Betul. Tapi lepas tu, you mula untuk dapat male attention. Dapat macam orang puji-puji. Yelah. Ya, yeah, sebagainya. The kalau saya Start secondary tu je, jerawat. Berlambak. Hmm. Kira macam, apa orang cakap, cystic acne. Oh. So, actually, my whole life, I tak rasa macam I anything at all lah. Not good looking in any way, actually. Hmm. So, bila saya dah lepas acting school lah, lepas drama school, then uh, uh, aku ada makan ubat untuk untuk turunkan. turunkan lah. Turunkan. Lepas tu, really bad breakup lah. Let's just put it at that lah. Uh, aku was in a relationship 6 tahun. Oh. And um, then it didn't it didn't work out. Then wow. lepas tu aku hari-hari bangun first thing in the morning, jangan rasa sedih, naik basikal pergi gym, pak. Wait 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 wait. Post break up in morning. Wow. Dia keluarkan clo- Dia all the post break up glow eh. Sebab, sebab I think I knew you at that time kan sebelum yes. like, like masa dia still in a relationship dengan girlfriend dia. Yes. I dah jumpa dia. I mean he's still good looking lah tapi like badan dia that went through some transformation tau. So you nampak dia seadanya. I nampak dia macam kira, like, kira he, he Sophia, went from like good Sophia looking jumpa, to like hot hot bila hot. Bila dia jumpa aku aku kira masih skinny legend lah. Orang cakap. Hmm. Ah, pasal yeah. tak ada badan, tak ada macam biasa lah. Aku tak pernah gemuk tapi uh. Tak, memang tak ada tak ada apa-apa lah. Hmm. But actually, saya tak sangka tau macam like, wow, I, kalau saya tengok your confidence, saya akan sangka macam, dia memang dah beautiful sepanjang hidup you. Tak ada lah. Jadi, dia ada post breakup glow. Right? Dia macam like, dia dah clear up, tapi dia break up. Lepas tu, boop, dia work out. Lepas but tu, jadi, oh. But always been very handsome lah. Sebab saya ah. tahu dia pun sebelum dia, had his glow up you know sebab hmm. kita kerjakan on that that set what was that drama called yang Sugar Ibu Sugar Ibu I jumpa dia first time I jumpa dia was on that set Aha. sebelum glow up dia so he was already very handsome Allah kau ni humble lah yes. Salif ni <laughs> so you masuk berlakon sebab you genuinely memang suka berlakon 150% passion je <laughs> Sofia juga I really really super super passionate about it I tak tahu lah what else I would do lah. Mm. Maybe besides maybe radio DJ je sebab sebelum ni kan I kerja sebagai oh, radio kan? DJ. Yeah. So that was my first first passion. So itulah dream job saya. Jadi awak jadi jadi, jadi Sofia uh, memang memang ini adalah minat awak untuk Mm-mm. untuk siaran. Pen, jadi penyiar kan penyiar dan sekarang berlakon. Dan bagi Salif so basically ada orang macam ada orang sangka kan you all ni termasuk macam dia macam kebetulan tau. Mm-hmm. Dia masuk dalam lakonan sebab dah lawa orang panggil, mm-hmm. ah, okey lah masuk je lah. Sebab kita ada ada antara pelakon-pelakon hebat ni, mm. mereka masuk dalam lakonan secara tak sengaja. Ah, yelah, yelah. Sebab mm-hmm. ada yang, eh jambu lah, eh kau try lah. Mm-hmm. Kan? Mm-hmm. Eh handsome, eh kau try lah. Mm-hmm. Tapi untuk kes Salif dan juga Sofia, itu bukan kesnya. Tak, I think no, for me tak sengaja. Tak sengaja, oh, tak tak sengaja, sengaja juga? Sebab um, I think for me, okay masa tu I was working as a radio DJ kan. Uh-huh. And I ada offer untuk audition for a drama. Mm. So I audition for the drama and that first drama yang I buat tu was Intense 2. And then that was how I got into acting lah. 
tak, tak, tak sengaja saya tak sangka pun saya will be in this uh, industry. So, Fiat tak sengaja. Mm-hmm. Salif memang dah plan kan? Memang dah sebab, plan. Sebab tu dia ambil kos tersebut di lepas, poly. Ha, lepas secondary school terus pergi Lasal. So, kira I was in I was in art school mm. 17 tahun lah. Right mm. right after O level. Baru-baru ini bila Ali, uh, Salif kemarin uh, masuk dalam pertandingan menyanyi, Salif yeah. menang. Alhamdulillah, yes. <laughs> Handsome, boleh berlakon, boleh menyanyi. Apa ni? <laughs> okay. Tak, actually, actually the, 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 the story is <laughs> when I was in primary school, mm. sebelum aku masuk drama, mm. aku choir. Choir? Uh, yes, I was in choir. You, you? I okay, was okay. I was the macam, ya lah, the mid, mid-range lah. Mm. Uh. So, actually, all the way, I I menyanyi. Then, uh, and and I really loved it lah. Kira kat dalam drama school, kita ada acting, kita ada musical theatre. Musical theatre punya budak, orang hebat. Like, macam kira boleh buat um, that kind of vibrato, that kind of like powerful kind of voice to 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 kira macam untuk bawa musical lah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, dia kira two different separate track tau. Mm-hmm. Uh, then, because I tak ada training, so I just masuk acting je. So, all the way, I masih minat. Macam segan. Tapi dia mm-hmm. macam... I macam just nyanyi by myself lah. Ini betul lah. Ini kali pertama saya bercakap dengan Salif. Saya rasa, you are so talented. You are so underrated. Oh, kan? Dia ada banyak kebolehan. Boleh menyanyi. Kan? Sebab Sofia, you sebagai kawan, kalau kawan kawa, awak cakap you talented. I, I think dia. Yeah. Kan? Kita ada banyak Ayah, nyanyi. Saya tahu lah. Dia tahu. Kita ada banyak humble, nyanyi. Dia humble je. Tak. Dia tahu. Dia tahu. He knows he's talented. He knows he's good looking. Yeah. Eh, uh, producer tanya tahu. Macam like, eh, you all macam look good together lah. You all couple ke? Macam, tak, tak pernah. Tak pernah couple lah. Tak pernah. Tak eh. pernah couple. Professional. Strictly professional. We are so professional. Ah, pasal kita jumpa on set juga. So, But from... first time kita jumpa on set, so we were boyfriend, girlfriend kan? I don't know. Surya suka like, Pair us up together lah, saya tak apa. Cerita Spy pun sama. Ah, uh, yelah, yelah. <laughs> tapi, tapi I like to think dia bukan bukan tu je. Kita ada chemistry lah. Oh, ya. Yeah. Habis uh, uh. <laughs> tiba-tiba jauh-jauh pula sekarang. <laughs> Janganlah malu. Tak, tak, tak. So, so <laughs> sekarang ni kalau di Malaysia dan lakonan dalam bahasa Malaysia sepenuhnya, mm-hmm. adakah kesusahan dia lebih terasa sekarang ni? Masih ada like cabaran je lah. Like honestly, the language for me is still macam susah sikit. But I am learning every day. But ada lah sometimes you know when you're on set, you rasa macam you don't exactly macam fit in macam tu. Sebab diorang kan ada diorang punya Malaysian slang, lingo uh-huh. diorang. Telur, telur diorang. But, but they're all very nice lah. Sebab diorang pun like very patient dengan I. They are teaching me. So I belajar like a lot of Malaysian slang macam macam words macam pisang. Okay, pisang for them means macam like bosan. Wow, so, this is the first. I'm like, apa lagi, apa lagi? Uh, payung. Je. Oh, payung. Payung, payung tu macam like, belanja. you belanja. Okay. Oh, I payung lah. Ni kira-kira you ambil kelas bahasa Melayu, macam kelas bahasa Melayu practical on set eh. Sama-sama tu eh. Dan yeah, you lah. tak rasa macam, uh, orang akan ingat dengan orang-orang lawa ni, mereka tak akan pernah rasa dibully. They will never understand orang-orang yang terpinggir tau. That perasaan terpinggir, that perasaan of not feeling belong. Ah, no lah. Jauh sekali Jauh daripada sekali. the truth eh. Uh. <laughs> daripada I kecil lagi. Sebagai seorang yang um, setengah-setengah lah. Hmm. Ha? Daripada, uh, kira daripada the start, orang dah panggil you Mak Salih Celuk. Mak I Melayu, bapa I orang yang orang putih. Jadi, I masuk sekolah, belajar Melayu lah. Pergi, hmm. pergi kelas Melayu. Tapi, I punya Melayu tak fasih sangat pasal kat rumah kita berbual uh, banyak English lah. Mm-hmm. Tapi daripada dia start lah, budak-budak Melayu semua... Tak, tak accept you macam tu eh? Bully. Bully. Kena bully. Rabak. Saya ah. kena really? bully. Rabak. Not macam sikit-sikit lah budak... Ya, saya kena... Dari primary school lagi? Dari primary school. Dari primary school. Eh. Ah, budak-budak... Because you know, eh, I... Kau pergi sekolah biasa je kan? Ah, yeah, yeah. uh, then you know, ada lah budak-budak yang macam gangster-gangster sikit. I selalu kena. Primary school... Lagi rabat daripada secondary school lah. I still rasa macam be out of place secondary three, baru sec three. Then, I ada kawan Melayu. Kenapa? Pasal saya tak main bola. I mean, I memang minat main bola. I ada main bola sejak I kecil lagi. Tapi, bila I tahu eh, okay, budak-budak Melayu selalu main bola, I lagi nak main bola. And then, hmm. that's what I did lah. I main bola dengan orang. And Alhamdulillah, that was the way yang I, yang I dapat masuk. Dan diterima. Kira, diterima dengan budak-budak Melayu. Terimalah aku orang Melayu. Uh, <laughs> then, ya lah. So, so that's when I I ada kawan. Macam, I, I boleh ingat, I punya pertama punya kawan Melayu lah kat situ. Hmm. Bila I 15 tahun. I'm sure, Sofia, mm-hmm. bila juga tadi, Anggo, you pun ada cerita. Okay, so I'm basically Eurasian Malay, kan? But I don't feel like I am very Malay. I don't feel like I'm very Eurasian. So, macam, I tak tahu where I fit in macam tu. Sebab, whenever people ask me, what is your your race? 
I can check. Okay, dalam ICI, it says Eurasian. Uh -huh. Bila I cakap Eurasian, sebab I tak nam, I don't look very like you know, I tak fair fair sangat macam Salif. Uh -huh. They will be like, eh, jangan lah, Asian nak step Eurasian. But I'm like, that is my race. Apa? So what do I say Susah. then? Susah. It's like, that's why I'm actually really happy to be in Malaysia sekarang ni. Because I really feel like I I feel very accepted kat sana. Aww. Really, really, I feel very accepted. Wow. And I also feel macam like I am Kejap. rediscovering my Malay side. Wow. Serious, serious. It's nah. nice. Siapa, siapa jangkakan <laughs> yang you akan rasa lebih lagi selesa dan diterima bukan di negara you? It's so sad. Kita nak, ya. Yeah, I feel I feel terkesan dengan statement tu. Mm. Tapi I also feel happy yang you dapat cari that new chapter dalam kehidupan you. Yeah. Dan kita akan selongkar chapter baru kehidupan Sofia dan Dwarf nanti. Tapi sekarang ni kita nak ajak, kita nak chill sikit. Take a break from our tears. Eh, belum nangis eh. Take a break from our tears. <laughs> kita akan have fun kat situ. Jom. Inilah dia. Meja oh. permainan kita, oh. ya. Yeah. Uh, nampaknya walaupun saya tahu bahawa Sofia dan juga Salif adalah kawan, tapi mereka sangat kompetitif. Mm. Uh, boleh nampak, boleh, boleh rasa, boleh rasa. You going down. Yeah. Okay, kalau awak nampak sekarang ni Salif dan Sofia, <laughs> depan awak ni adalah uh, cawan kan, cawan mm -hmm. plastik kan. Mm -hmm. Jadi apa yang awak perlu lakukan dengan cawan plastik ini adalah untuk anda bina piramida. Okay. Setinggi, segah mungkin. Okay. Dan awak nak tak, tak boleh pimpong ni untuk apa? Untuk awak gunakan untuk jatuhkan. Piramid orang sebelah, orang depan awak. Jadi <laughs> awak kena bina dan awak kena attack. Bina, attack. Serang. Serang protect. dan bina. Bina, yes. attack, protect. protect. Baik, okay. kita mulakan <laughs> dari sekarang. Oh, kau tengok dia punya strategi, eh. Pandai, eh. Oh, hey, hey, hey. oh cepat lah. Eh, eh Salif, eh, tak Line. nampak Line. lah. Line. Line. Oh, tak nampak lah dia punya tu. Ah, kau, ah. Oi, oh, oh, oh. hey, apa sah? 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 Apa Okay, 10, okay, wait, 9, wait, wait, wait. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, eh Salif, tadi dekat sana, you macam bukan main gentleman eh. Dekat sini kau punya ya, hentam, kan, kan, Sofia. Kan. Ah. Ah. Tapi dia kena, dia perlu. Sebab you all kena hentam balik sebab you all kena hentam. Ah, yeah. deep tak? Even jenis uh, apa yeah. very competitive yeah. lah. So Tapi kalau kita tengok, Salif terpaksa I <laughs> declare sebagai pemenang sebab dia adalah bangunan sikit kat sini kan? Ya lah, ya lah. Okeylah, not bad eh. Walaupun bangunan <laughs> dia macam lah, separuh nyawa. <laughs> ah, boleh lah kita terima, okey? Kita akan teruskan hentaman sekarang ini. Jangan ke mana-mana sebab kita akan kembali dengan scoop bersama Fiza. Oh! Okey. Uh, eh. I, I, I memang mummy's boy daripada the start. Tunjukkan cara paling stylo untuk terbalikkan pancake. Okay, Syahid. Oh! Kita kembali dalam Scoop bersama Fiza O oh dan dalam segmen iaitu Scoopkan Fiza O. Oh. Kita dengan, uh, of course, balik dengan Salif dan juga Sofia sekarang ini yang akan menjadikan kita makanan yang sangat uh, susah untuk buat. Susah untuk dia buat. Dia senang oh. tapi dia susah nak sedap. Ah. You know what I mean? Yes, something yes. savory atau something sweet? Dia terpulang pada awak actually. I rasa okay. kali ini anda boleh pilih untuk sweet. Sebab, sebab saya tengok uh, ada sprinkles, ada sprinkles kan? Uh. Ada macam ada maple syrup kat sini kan? So, <laughs> Tahu tak bahawa Salif dengan Sofia tak payah bersaing? Because it's a teamwork. Okay. Ya, okay. yeah, baik kan? Ya, ah, baik buat teamwork kan? Okay, ini adalah namanya Pancake Pan Asia. Jadi kalau ada bersedia, ingat waktu you tengah buat ni, I akan ajukan soalan dan you kena multitask. Sambil buat, sambil jawab. Mulakan dari sekarang. You read number one. Okay, campurkan bahan-bahan kering, tepung, gula, serbuk penaik dan garam ke dalam mangkuk. Okay. Jadi boleh masukkan sekali. Uh, okay. Tepung. 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 Susu. Susu, okay. Okey, soalan pertama eh, sambil awak buat ni kan. Mm. Apakah masakan Melayu kegemaran awak berdua? 
Oh, rendang. Rendang. Ice rendang. Uh, ayam masak merah. Okey, okey. Campur bahan-bahan. Soalan kedua. Bahan -bahan. Awak berdua lebih suka makanan kat rumah ke makanan di luar? Rumah. Hmm. Rumah. Sebab mak masak sedap. Yes. Okeylah, bagi you lelaki lah sebab mak ai dia, dia jarang masak kat rumah. Okey, nombor tiga kita nak kena campur dua-dua. Alright. Okey. Okey. Okey, soalan ketiga adalah apakah comfort food Sofian dan Salif? Apa-apa yang mak ai masak. Ha. Yes. Oh. Actually comfort food I I don't know lately I've been very obsessed dengan nasi goreng. Hmm. It just feels every time like bila I lapar I just just like craving nasi goreng. I know it's oh, weird, but yeah. like that's like my oh, comfort Salif, food. Oh, Salif, kira-kira macam um, dia punya saham untuk episod kali ni naik tau. Macam like all the girls are like, "Oh, Salif, such a mommy's boy." <laughs> oh. Semua orang dah tahu dah. Kan? I mean, I've never I I, I memang mommy's boy daripada the start. Like, every time I on TV, saya selalu okay. cakap, "Oh, mommy." Ya, ma. Consistent lah, rasa. Yeah. Rasa even, itu memang consistent. Even you lepak dengan kawan like sikit, sikit, ma, I masak paling sedap. Semua tahu. Semua mm -hmm. tahu. Okay, okay. All my kawan-kawan suka datang rumah I untuk makan. Ha. Ah, pasal my mom is macam chef. Okay? Hmm. Macam lah. Apakah lagi istilah Inggeris yang diberikan untuk pancake? Dia bermula dengan huruf F. Flip. Of, yeah, 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 yeah. Flip. Flip cake. Flat. Flat cake. Flat cake. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Apalah, besar-besar. Semua okay. orang boleh makan. I'm serious. Dia jenis pancake yang aku tak payah nak buat dua kali. Sebab tu dia cair sikit. Dia macam buat tosir tau sekarang ni. I pun suka tosir. Actually, tosir is one of my favorite. Favorite lah. Balikkan pancake dengan berhati-hati. Kalau tosir, tosir. 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 Sophia? Okay, I try. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. I try, I try. Hey. Wait, 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 wait. I'm just not lift it up sikit. So oh, oh, oh. I can flat. Hey, actually, flip kan, Sophia, it looks good. It looks good. Cara awak buat. Satu, dua. Oh! Okay. 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 Kalau you all makan pancake, sekali makan pancake kan selalunya, mm -hmm. like those normal size kan. Berapa banyak you boleh makan satu kali? Like one sitting. Dua, pancake, dua ke tiga lah. Pancake senang, senang muak kan. Macam mm -hmm. kalau makan satu, I think dah cukup lah. Okay. Ini adalah pancake kedua. Pancake kedua. Okay. Sekejap, I will stack this up. Okay. So, Salif nak hiasi yes. pancake you. Yang terlalu lebar. Jadi, jadi kalau kita pasal, pasal pancake kan, are you like into uh, pancake yang manis-manis ke pancake jenis yang berlauk, yang savoury? I pernah rasa pancake ya dengan oh, garlic apa? prawns. Eh, sedap tau. And it's sedap. Eh, but it's, it's like sedap. creamy, creamy garlic creamy. prawns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, it sounds macam pelik sikit tapi... Sedap. Sedap, sedap betul. gila. Okay, mm. apakah makanan yang paling pelik yang Sofia dan juga Salif pernah try? Uh, like fried fried insects kat Thailand? Kat Vietnam lah. Ada pernah, pernah makan... Tak tahu apa lah punya seafood tapi dia macam... Sedap. Dia macam clam. Oh, dia oh. macam... Uh, oh. Macam tu. Okay, baik. Baik. Ini dia... Pancake Pan Asia. Okay. <laughs> Macam body bender gitu eh. The 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 Tetamu undangan persembahan skup malam ini, kumpulan artis tari Gentari.
Persembahan um, anda berdua sangat sangat ayu, sangat lemah gemalai, like so poised, so elegant kan? Cari you letak pinggan tu sangat cantik sekali. Kalau I buat macam itu kan, macam I tengah gaduh dengan anak. Macam like, hey! Uh, <laughs> tapi cari you all pegang penuh keayuan. Uh, dah berapa lama katnya you all berlatih uh, untuk tarian piring ni katnya? Betul. Saya saya menari daripada umur kecil, daripada umur sembilan sebenarnya. Oh. Yeah. Saya dah 15 tahun menari. Oh. Uh, tapi ini saya punya first time belaj- uh, buat uh, piring Tari, sebenarnya. Piring sebenarnya. Yeah. Tapi piring ini berasal dari mana? Asalnya daripada negeri Indonesia. Uh-huh. Tapi daerah Sumatera Barat lah. Terima kasih menang oh. kabau. Okey, yeah. baik, baik, baik. Dan berapa banyak pi- uh, pinggan telah pun uh, pecah <laughs> hasil karya <laughs> awak ni? Uh, pada saya, uh, setiap latihan semua pecah lah. Mesti ada pecahnya. Kesian company <laughs> awak eh. Dan saya ada kawan-kawan ni yang nak cuba untuk buat tarian piring ni. Dan kita harapkan mereka tak pecahkan piring. <laughs> Kalau tak ada gerak akan tambahkan rekod pecah piring untuk artis tari gentari. Kita akan undang sekarang ni Salif dan juga Sofia. Come on. Oh, Salif dan Sofia, oh, mereka oh, pandai menari. Tak macam susah. Dan mereka pandai pegang piring untuk makan. Okey. <laughs> Sebab ni juga akan pegang piring untuk menari. Jadi uh, Sofia ke sini juga Salif ke sini juga. Okey. Okey. Okay. Nampak Jadi siapa kan yang akan lah, lah, kecil? Oh macam ni, macam ni. So it's easier kalau pegang macam gini. Kalau okay. tak, you boleh pakai this part of your tangan untuk grip. Tangan kecil. Okay, okay. Yeah. Jadi um, <laughs> satu simple movement is yeah. boleh macam gini and then atas. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Atas and then left hand now. Ah. Kau kena buat macam buat macam body bender gitu eh. Macam air bender kau buat. Tak tahu. Tak air bender. Salif macam masuk martial arts. Kau pusing yang tu badan. Okay, kita move to the side saja dulu, okey. So step 1 2 3 4 pusing. 6 7 8. Jangan langgar. Dulu ending dah langgar. 1 2 3 4 and sing 6 7 8. Nampak lagi cantik, kita main muzik. Dua, tiga, tiga, boleh. Wah, wah, not bad. Wah, Sofia. Sofia Airbender dari Arkansas. Hari ini. Hari ini. Okey, okey. Lagi sekali jadilah. Mula. And left. And both. Cantik lah. Yeah. And then, and then. Two, three. Memang macam gini lah. Orang-orang muka cantik. Eh. Automatic tu dengan muka cantik kan. Tak susah dengan muka ni. And one. Okay. Two, three. Eh, 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 eh. Pusing. Jebat. Six, seven, eight. Eh. Nak try yang lagi laju lagi? Nak try lagi laju? Eh, <laughs> boleh, boleh, boleh. Boleh, boleh. Okay, okay. Right. Two, three, four. Left. Two, three, four. Yo. Yep. Sampai lah. Eh, dia... Tak boleh buat, tak boleh ni. Dia pegang pinggan tu. Sebab tu cepat. Okay. Dia pegang. Aku nampak kau pegang. Okey, okey. Tak apa, okay, tak apa. Okay, okay. Kita akan tunjuk lagi ya nanti, Sofia. Eh. Okay, Betul, okay. eh. Hmm. Dia, saya nampak Salif dah macam... Pro. Dia akan dah pro, dia dah pro. Dia boleh <laughs> macam uh, top 10 lah dan saya kita oh, wow. Salif. <laughs> Okey, kita akan tunjukkan kebaikan Salif nanti selepas ini. Jangan lupa untuk kembali dalam Scoop bersama Pizza O. Okey, jom masuk Salif. I still feel macam self-conscious lah. Just because of comments yang I dapat dari netizens. You nak kena masuk dengan, you know, with the intention of working and not the intention of nak cari kawan pun, actually. Hmm. So, kita kembali dalam skup bersama Fiza O. Oh, ini adalah bahagian terakhir. Kita akan sambung semula chat kita dengan Salif dan juga dengan Sofia. Sebab awal tadi sebelum kita main game sebagainya, bila saya berbual dengan Sofia juga Salif, awal, saya terperanjat hmm. macam bila you all luahkan yang pernah kena bully. Sebab kita assume yang hmm. orang cantik ni you all takkan rasa perasaan-perasaan orang yang pernah kena bully. Sometimes I feel macam like orang yang, for example, in this industry ha. kan kalau you cantik, you have more to prove. Yang you ada bakat. Oh. And it's not just looks. Dia macam tak? Macam contohnya, orang tu muka dia 
yang orang anggap bukan template TV. Hmm. Dia masuk, dia dapat watak utama contohnya. Eh. Orang akan dengan tak sengaja assume, oh dia mesti bagus acting dia. Hmm. Sebab tu walaupun dia defy the template, dia masuk. Right. Bila orang tu dapat hero, memang dia handsome masuk hero, hmm. ala ini mestilah dia kena tangkap mana-mana nampak lawa, orang pilih dia masuk. Hmm. Kan? Dan lepas tu you kena macam like, tak, aku ya, sebenarnya aku audition. Exactly. Sebenarnya aku buat ni, sebenarnya aku... Dan adakah, adakah itu memenatkan, meletihkan awak berdua macam to prove your points? Kita punya nature as human being, kita memang macam itulah. Mm. It's normal for people to to be jealous lah. Eh? Yeah, Just like atau macam judgemental. Orang jealous, orang judgemental. Memang banyak. Tapi, I selalu rasa macam... I tak... I, I dah sampai certain point... Actually, in the beginning pun sama. I Bila I masuk, bila I kerja, I just do my best. I just kerja yeah. dengan sepenuh-penuh ikhlas, dengan, you know, semua orang yang I interact dengan, you know, give them your best and everything. I selalu bilang orang, at the end of the day, orang akan tahu. This industry is about interaction dengan orang. Mm-hmm. Dan saya rasa agak uh, ter, uh, tu, terasa macam uh, terkesan dengan tadi yang uh, Sofia katakan. Bila you masuk ke Malaysia, then you finally rasa macam, oh... Macam gini rasa diterima mm. dalam masyarakat lakonan. I feel I I, mm. I feel like in Singapore a lot of, like ramai orang like ra, like ramai orang suka always tanya pasal race. In Malaysia when I go there there's no one yang ask me about race. Hey, what was your race? Where are you from? I'm just there as a person who is just there lah, just working macam mm-hmm. tu. Like so I I like I always feel like in Singapore I tak tahu kenapa but people love talking about race. I punya point of view is actually sebagai sebagai Singaporean lah. As a Singaporean, hmm. I rasa I suka tanya orang kalau macam I tengok orang macam mana, eh, macam pelik je macam macam mix. One thing I rasa pasal I, I myself kan campur-campur. Tapi another thing is also pasal you know, in that way I feel kita dapat macam tahu lagi dapat uh, pasal this person punya culture, that person punya culture. Like that's the thing that I love about Singapore. Tapi it's a two prong thing. One on one hand, you you punya attitude boleh bagus to, towards it, right? Mm. Tapi there's another attitude towards it which is you know we have in Singapore, unfortunately, banyak you know a lot of tension lah, mm-hmm. and a lot of and I think that is where what you might get you rasa lah most of the time you rasa macam like these people asking you because they think you are different and they don't like mm. it, you know. Yeah, But whereas yeah. on the other hand, I feel like kita kena banggakan, you know, kita ada ada differences and everything. But that is what makes us mm. unique as Singaporeans. Mm-hmm. You cari apa pergi anywhere else around the world, we don't have such a melting pot. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I think, you know, to normalize macam, eh, where are you from? You know, oh, your father is from here, your mother is from there, having these conversations. Yeah, yeah. This, you know, this is what makes us unique. Yeah, and but don't you feel like, like, bila you always tanya macam tu, like, don't you feel like, it, It seg- it, macam, it divides us sikit because there's like one group, one group, one group. Whereas in Malaysia, mm. oh, I'm just Malaysian. Mm. That's true. I'm That's not true. here. I'm, not, I'm just, you know what I mean? I like also, you go to, you go, you go to the USA, I'm just why? American. But you bawa pengalaman trauma lama you. So you think, bila orang tu tanya you, you just get defensive. Macam triggered. Like, yeah, just triggered. Yeah, Maybe. Macam for you, that's a trigger point. Like, kenapa dia bangsa ni? Are you going to judge me? Maybe. Kan? Macam you tanya I sebab you tak percaya what I'm going to say macam tu. Ya. Yeah. Adakah <laughs> you nak ketahukan I punya bahasa Melayu? Sebab betul tanya tanya I punya bangsa. Yalah. Kan? Maybe, maybe, ada, ya, maybe lah. Mungkin. Lah. Tapi tak perasan. Kan? Macam bagi, bagi, bagi Salif, dia suka orang tanya sebab dia suka tanya orang. Hmm. Kan? Sebab you, I think dengan tak sengaja you nak tanya orang tu punya pengalaman kalau mereka pernah ada trauma yang serupa macam you. Bila I masuk NS, I masuk NS polis. Betul-betul I kira thrown into the deep end lah. Hmm. Semua orang, left right semua orang Melayu. So I terpaksa I terpaksa berbual Melayu banyak, I terpaksa you know and and it was great for me because kita semua kat dalam NS sebagai you know all of us just enlistees yeah. mangkuk kan. Ah. Semua sama kan. So NS was the platform that took away all the otherness kan. Mm. It makes you macam okay, sekarang kita semua sekarang uh, semua same lah, same lah. level kan. Mm. So in that way it was great for me because mm. I was like okay I'm here now I belong. on I the belong. same level with everyone budak budak Melayu ni and I, that's you know and in that way pasal kita semua struggle together you know that that, that brotherhood thing just forms lah kan mm-hmm. and get to make friends dengan budak budak Melayu yang daripada every single walk of life ah kira mm-hmm. macam from the work, most working class you know to the more educated ones all the way through and mm-hmm. for me growing up I tak dapat that opportunity kan mm-hmm. pasal I always the others kan mm-hmm. 
So for me, that was a wonderful opportunity because mm. I got to macam betul-betul get to know my culture, the people from my culture and and be accepted lah in that way. Wow. So mm. yeah, it was, I am who I am, mm. you know, and I am as, I feel I am Malay mm. and I have enough experiences and enough experiences with real Malays to rasa macam, Orang pun rasa Melayu. Kita semua Melayu. Macam kalau kita tengok Salif, for example kan. Macam kita akan ingat dia macam, oh Mak Salif, dia mana nak, nak cakap orang-orang Melayu macam kita. Kan? Tapi kita tak tahu that sepanjang hidup dia, dia tengah struggle untuk diterima oleh orang Melayu. Saya boleh dengar tak macam cara dia cakap, oh saya masuk bola, best lah. Saya masuk NS semua apa-apa Melayu, oh best lah. Terimalah aku, kan? Saya tak nampak macam, kalau saya tengok awak macam like, alah Danny, Mak Salih, feeling Mak Salih lah ni, tak, mana cakap orang Melayu macam kita kan. Yeah. Tapi you memang nak diterima. So this makes me feel like macam, okay, orang cantik ada insecurities. Apakah insecurities, Sofia? You ada. So I rasa for me, my, one of my insecurities is my bahasa lah. Sebab I, I rasa like sampai sekarang, I still feel like whenever I berlakon dalam bahasa Melayu, I always feel like, I still, I still rasa macam I sound macam pelat. Walaupun, like, I, I always ask, and Salif, you know this, right? Every time kita ada scene on set, masa kita filming Spy series, my Melayu dah improve a lot already. Dah, hmm. dah improve a lot. I really feel like it's improve a lot. And I always akan tanya dia, eh, pilat not, pilat not, pilat not, she pilat not. Okay, tak, okay, tak, okay, tak. banyak kali. I'll repeat, sorry. Tapi, sebab I dah trauma. Because when I was I filming think, intense school... And I think, personally, too, I rasa that is your strength. I rasa pasal dia passionate and dia betul-betul nak nak improve, nak improve nah, you know dengan ikhlas you know she wants to do well and so I selalu layangkan je mm. okay Sofia yeah. buat sikit okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay okay buat lagi buat lagi yeah, okay. and now okay. orang kat Malaysia dah dengar now they nak lagi Melayu <laughs> tak you nak macam ni so t- apakah yang terjadi waktu intense tu taklah macam like, I get comments macam like um tak boleh berlakon that's one so that one was something that I really tried to improve on I went for acting classes I watch a lot of like series just to try improve. So my first drama actually really I really do feel memang tak boleh berlakon. <laughs> I really felt like I did such a bad job. Um and my Melayu pun macam I, I sound sangat kaku. So I still feel macam self-conscious ah. Self-conscious just because of comments yang I dapat dari netizens. Yeah, I okay. do comments macam like there's some one one comment I remember sampai sekarang. Eh, kenapa I kena bayar tax ah to watch this kind of like rubbish on like you know, tak boleh berlakon bla 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 and then tag me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so that's one of my insecurities lah like sampai sekarang even though walaupun I berlakon kat Malaysia semua, I always ask myself like am I really good enough to carry this role? Am I good enough? Like do I sound Melayu enough? So that's something that I I have to deal with sampai sekarang lah. Sebab tu, I, uh, I'm taking Malay tuition class. But I really want to learn everything from like the basic stuff. Mm-hmm. Just to, just so I know mm-hmm. Melayu betul-betul if I really want to panjangkan my career lah kat Malaysia or Singapore or wherever lah. You know, it's just for myself. So that's one of my main insecurities. Mm. I punya insecurity yang paling besar dalam bahasa Melayu is berspontan lah. You know, I think it's quite obvious. I punya berspontan tu, I rasa macam kaku sikit. That's why I tak buat banyak sangat, you know, stuff about, like with uh, hosting or whatever. Sekarang macam uh, Salif dah, dah, dah artis kan? <laughs> dah handsome, dah glow up. You terserempak tak kau-kau primary school you? Ada, ada. <gasps> ada. Dang, dang, Pasal dang. I, I masih tinggal kat sama, daerah sama oh. daripada... Masih, masih macam terserempak lah? Masih terserempak. Dia tegur ke? Kau tegur, tak tegur. Tak, tegur. kita senyum. And... and I feel good about that because then kita boleh move forward. Move on. Yeah, we can move Jadi on. Closure. Yeah, and kita can go back to being neighbors. Like mm. at the end of the day, Dorang, I punya neighbor. You know, we all in the same thing. And I would actually like to know pasal Dorang punya kehidupan sekarang. You know, mm. and so it's not. In fact, some of them from that point then kita jadi kawan. Kadang-kadang kan, you tak tahu orang tu sampai you dah kenal dia bertahun-tahun tau. Orang hmm. you yang you ingat. Any member, any vibe. This is yeah, interesting. Yeah, it's true. Actually, for me, I pun jenis macam like work is work lah. Hmm. So for me, it's susah for me to like open up to anyone on set. Macam tu. Sebab I, when I on set, I just think about my scenes for the day. Um, so jarang lah nak 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 like you know have conversation. I Committed mean, dengan kau kau set eh? Like it I depends. have a wall. Macam tu. Yeah. I have a wall. And I think it also does depend on yeah. you punya role. So, for example, saya dengan Sofia ni yang kita buat spy. Hmm. Pasal kita tahu kita uh, buat spy, kita akan ada kita romance. Kita ha? kena ada chemistry kan? Ah. So, so, so at that point, bila... Pasal kita dah pernah kerja with each other before, hmm. right? But we 
kita never got to know each other mm. because there was not really a need to get to that mm. point and i think that's the that's the difference lah that's the important part Be- because at the end of the day ni kan kerja kita yeah. and, and and like sofia says you know nak kena jadi professional mm. you nak kena masuk dengan you know with the intention of working and not the intention of nak cari you know pasangan getting, nak cari kawan pun actually mm. you tak boleh masuk with the intention of i want to make friends with everybody yeah. because you're not that they, you won't be good at your job <laughs> uh, betul you know you, yeah. you need to be that focus you know if you want to be good lah and so only at that point when i dengan sofia ni the the we got to our third production for production working together then really felt macam kita kawan then o- then only then we started to really talk to each other macam mm. okay uh, and even then pun macam bila nak balik daripada kerja you know she, dia, dia bawa kereta then she will like drive me somewhere then we just use the opportunity to really get to know each other and oh. again that's not even from a place of macam anything more than really it will help in the work Mm-hmm. Pasal kalau mm-hmm. I tahu we get to know each other, we can feel comfortable. That's when the real chemistry will flow, mm-hmm. and it will go into the into into the what people see lah on screen. Mm-hmm. Uh. Yeah. Ni kira kan macam kalau korang ada partner, kalau punya partner kena betul tu faham eh. Yes, that yeah. one is very important. Macam must 150% you have to have trust. Your, your the trust. Ni lah eh serious. Kalau I punya kalau I punya I Sofia punya boyfriend, dan Sofia kata dengan I, look. Uh, I nak keluar dengan Salif. I'm like, no, nope, tak boleh. <laughs> Kena bawa adik beradik is kali duduk sebelah. But there's, yeah, but there's ways to go around that, right? Because I boleh jumpa dengan matai dia. You see, and she should ask me to go and meet together that kind of thing. And ah. I would want that as well. You see, because then kita tak, you know, we are not making anyone have any doubt or macam PK yeah. apa-apa kita tengah buat apa-apa, you know. So that is important as well. Partner you know? yang boleh faham lah. Ah, like for and me, I won't date someone yang tak faham my line of work, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. But at the end of the day Trust. like I really place my work up there lah. My work is my priority lah sekarang mm-hmm. ni in my life. And so, sebab tu kita dah masuk segmen hadiah yang kita nak hadiahkan pada Salif dan hadiahkan pada Sofia. So, segmen ini adalah hamper untuk siapa? Pada siapa yang rasa macam you tulis dulu, after that, you akan uh, kongsi dengan kita lah apa yang you tulis kat, kat you tu. Okay, saya nak hadiahkan ini uh, kepada Salif. I actually suspected that as well. <laughs> Kepada Salif Hadi. Expect. What? Sebab I rasa sangat um, grateful for our friendship. And pun I I know kan sebab kita discuss sebelum ni that you know we, when we got to know that we were going to be on this show, um, we were like macam excited lah. So the reason why kita we are here today is but we got to know that we're going to be on the show on the show together today. Kan? Yeah. So I am happy to be your friend. <laughs> And I feel like macam dalam friendship kita, we have gone through some some issues lah yang kita tak, we don't want to talk about it here. Tapi we have lah, you know, with every friendship ada struggles dia. Yeah. So I'm just happy that, uh, you know, sampai sekarang, it's been a few years, you were there for me since my first Malay drama. First Malay drama? Eh, no, tak. Second Malay drama. Hmm. Sugar Ibu and sampai sekarang kita we're still f- good friends. Kawan. I am so happy to see that you're doing well in the industry. And yalah. So, I nak hadiah, ha- hadiahkan ni to you. Okay. Then, <laughs> I nak hadiahkan ni kepada you. Oh, wow. Because, yeah. Uh, pasal I rasa macam you also deserve it. Because, <laughs> you know, bila I I jumpa Sofia, you know, um, I rasa macam there was a, a, a lot there and I didn't know macam siapa actually Sofia Dendroff. Mm. And so bila I start to macam betul-betul that's why that's why dia cakap lah kita ada macam history because yeah. in the beginning kita ada macam I salah faham lah. Ah, salah, faham. salah faham. I macam uh, and the way that I do it eh, is very eh, ah. Saya aku geram tau. Dah dah da, ni dari dressing room lagi tau. So I tanya Sofia, so eh kau nak kau baik eh? Kita kawan. <laughs> ah, kita pernah, yelah pernah gaduh. Pernah lah, pernah, pernah lah. So, and you keep on repeating the dua-dua tau. Mm. Right? It's just like, pernah gaduh, yeah, pernah, pernah apa faham, apa pernah ni, but we are good. <laughs> Berapa lama you gaduh waktu tu? Tak lah, macam, bukan. I mean, it's not okay, long. So it's just keep... macam very, very kira macam, Sekejap. bila dah ada api, dah ada api. Mm. On set, on set. 
Ya. Yeah. <coughs> on set. Yeah, but of course, ni memang tak boleh bongkar lah. You yeah, know, what happened on set, stay on set. But it is to that point. Pekit, orang tahu. Tak, tak, tak. The only thing I can say is, masa kita shooting Spy, we cleared the air. And then we were like, okay, it's all good now, bro. Yeah, okay. yeah. So it was in <laughs> in during the process of filming and that we really macam, you know, we were very honest with each other. Kita yeah. macam, and, and that's why I want to give this back to you as well. Because <laughs> I think, you know, like, I could have never macam meet Johari and, and you know, our, our characters betul-betul come to life. Mm. Kalau you tak bagi I, you know, that kind of you know the the bravery and and and, and the vulnerability and you wanted to meet me on my level and you wanted to to clear the air, to clear the air. I cherish the friendship it's exactly. just macam and uh. also you know uh bila we were ending spy dan abis she was macam ah tak tahu don't know what to do next you know and i really encourage her bilang dia sofia sofia you are sofia dendroff Go out there, go to Malaysia, go and do whatever you want. Follow your heart, follow your dreams because you are a hard worker and you your heart is in the right place, right? And so she has from that point, sekarang dia dah pergi and I'm so proud of you, I really am. So this is also macam, you know, good luck and I, you know, I'm always with you and, you know, congratulations lah. You know. Merci, yeah. this is for you. <laughs> Jangan lupa untuk dapatkan lagi banyak scoop okay. Untuk scoop minggu ini Saya rasa I love it Kita akan kembali dengan lagi banyak scoop Minggu depan Jangan lupa untuk terus ikuti Scoop bersama Visa Oh, oh.